don't like it. Right. Know? Right. Um, so I uh topic number four, uh, I saw this meme being passed around, which is um which bougie stage are you currently in in life? Um, where you spend money with no hesitation. Uh, I think the options were, and you don't necessarily have to go with this option, but um, it was like, are you travel bougie? Are you food bougie? Um, I saw somebody reading comments. They was like, oh, I'm interior design bougie. Basically, where you're an adult and you have no problem spending money on certain things. Like, you don't even look at the price that you like. I want it. So it could be clothes. It could be shoes. It could be hair. What level of bougie are y'all in y'all life? Me personally, I'm, I'm business bougie. Like other stuff I cut back on. I'm like, oh no, I'm not doing it. Like, but I will spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on certain equipment with, now I ain't gonna say with no hesitation because I'm still trying to find like the best deal. Cause like right now, like, I, like I'm, I'm supposed to be going out of town. And so I was looking for like decent hotels. I don't, I don't want no bed bug, roach no hotels, but I'm like, it gotta be so I don't want to spend this type of money. But yeah, I was looking for a deal with that. But when I was trying to find a hot box for my business, I was like, oh, 300, uh, two of those. <laughs> and I went, no, I was like, let me get two of those. And I'm like, why I do stuff like that? Like, but I think it's because like I can make money off of it versus like me just going out of town for a couple of days. You know, I'm right. like, I still got to come back home and live a life, you know? Right. So I don't try not to go too crazy with out of town stuff or, you know, vacations and stuff like that. Because I have to always come back home and still got bills to pay, you know? Yeah. I don't feel like I'm bougie about like any particular thing. Like I feel like I'm very, I'm very um simple person like I don't feel like there's something that I just like no matter yeah, like what it costs or like whatever like okay if, if it's a trip like I'm gonna like book the best hotels or the best right, right. like you know stuff like that I don't feel like there's anything that I'm like super crazy over like that I'm like quote unquote like bougie about like I feel like I'm very minimalistic like I'm not you know that type of person so I can't even think of anything that I'd be like bougie about. you you may not feel that way but ask people around you they're they'll tell you because i'm going to ask people around, i'm like what do you think i'm bougie about because i feel like that as well i feel like i'm like simple and southern i always describe myself as simple and southern i'm like i don't need this i don't need that i'm not you know simple yeah. southern and sassy that's my three s simple southern mm -hmm. and sassy. you know but ask people who be like what am i bougie i'm gonna ask them i'm gonna ask people and then, they go, and then when they tell you probably gonna be like no i'm not <laughs> they're gonna be like yes you are and then they'll tell you why, you know. Yeah. What about you, Daniel? Like, what are you Food. like? I'm sorry, what? Food. <laughs> okay. Am I going to uh, my food? So let me, this is the reason why. So I will, okay. I'll give you three different scenarios. Okay. I will go, if I'm going to a restaurant, Um. I'm going to get the steak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's, yeah. I'm not even going to look at the price. the price if i see sirloin t-bone ribeye <laughs> anything it's like i'll take that you know what i'm saying yeah. um and then the same thing is one of the things about me is when i'm when i go shopping i i'll bargain shop on certain things i can i can get the 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 great value brand on certain things right but not on everything right you know what i'm saying and it's just me being a cook there's just certain things that i don't want to touch in my pad and the low sometimes like that lower tier stuff just don't work you know what i'm saying because I, I didn't know you was a cook oh yeah I, that's a small that's a small passion of mine i have aspirations of having a restaurant um okay. and i'm gonna steal all ashley's recipes <laughs> see you in court <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but um, that's right. it's, gonna be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be daniel's yummy tummy after a while no, I'm playing. But no, nah, it, it's just that. Like, I'm not going to skip out on food. And there's been times, right. <laughs> I hate to say this, I really hate to say this, but there's been times, like, I'd be on my, like, when I was in college, I'd be on my last $10. And I could get, I could go to McDonald's and just spend four of that and be good. But no, nah, I'm still going to go to KFC or I'm still going to go to Bojangles and spend the whole $9.99 on a four-piece. <laughs> Just because you know what I'm saying, like it's, yeah. it's and you, you know struggle with that. Like even though, I and struggle with that. I, and it's probably crazy because I cook too. Uh, and then people probably be like, Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm 
frugal with stuff. Like, cause when you said about the restaurant, why you're like, let's say we're all three, we're all three there. So uh, we know Whitney's doing vegan. You're going for the steak. I'm, I'm asking, what y'all got on sale? What, what what's y'all special? <laughs> like, that's me. I'm like, what y'all got? What's y'all special? You know? And I'm yeah. just like, Ugh, like, but I do treat myself out sometimes. Like over the weekend, I just went to um Surfside Beach. I went to a barbecue competition, and so um. I was like, oh, what am I? I was like, let me take $20. And I was like, no, I'm going to do more than 20 uh, because I know I want to go to vendors and see like what's what's new stuff out there. And I knew by going to a barbecue competition, I knew that they would probably be selling their sauces. I'm a, I love, I'm a sauce girl. I love a barbecue sauce. And so I was like, so I upped it. Like my budget was 50, was $50. And then I don't even know where I'm at with it because I started swiping my card. So I probably over the damn $50. Oh, so. Right. So that's what I was saying. I don't even look at I don't I just can't. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing, the other thing for me is and I just thought about it. I don't do it often, but whenever I'm going to and I plan to have fun, like say we're going to say Dave and Buster's, say we're going to like an amusement park or something like that. When it comes to fun, I don't skip I don't skip out on that either. I mean, I don't I'm gonna spend the money. Now I'm not gonna go out there and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. Right, right. But like, if I know I don't do it often, you see where I'm at. I'm always yeah. at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and, and I, that's that's why I got out this weekend because I was like, I'm gonna be doing shit. I yeah, yeah. That's something I need to do better with. Like, I feel like when you said ask people around me, people around me would probably say I'm like I need to be bougie about stuff or I need to have stuff where I kind of like this is my thing. Like I'm not compromising. Like how you say like I want good food, so I'm not compromising good food wherever I go like I feel like I'm too reserved yeah I feel like I'm too reserved I've been told that. My, my yeah I feel like I'm, I'm too reserved and I need to like have those things where I'm just, just let like, loose one, once in yeah a while. yeah like because even when it comes like just some of the things that y'all are mentioning like even when Daniel uh mentioned about um like if you're going somewhere place for fun like you just want to have fun like you're not you don't want to worry about oh I don't want to spend this much money or I got to cut back or I can't do this particular thing because I don't want to spend too much money like I wish I could yeah. be one of those people that didn't think about stuff but I feel like everything that I do somehow is calculated and it got to be in the plan for like I can't just be like oh I just want to have fun when I go to Mexico let me just have fun I don't want to worry about looking at my account I just want to I can't do that I can't do I'm still bad about that don't that's get me wrong that's I'm that's still bad thing, about Whitney. that yeah that's the thing Whitney I'm like you but Daniel as well so while I'm there I don't do the I'm not thinking about I take care of that before I go so yeah. I'm the $300 that's it so mm -hmm. are you saying you don't even think about it even before you go or you don't have a budget period are you just you know what I mean no, Whitney. So, like, you oh. don't do it at all? Like, you don't say, okay, I'm just only going to do three, or I'm going to do $200. Yeah, yeah, I do that, but I'm just saying, like, I wish I, because, you know, every so often, I mean, there's nothing wrong with just saying, like, okay, I'm going on this trip, I'm going to budget $300, $400 for me to just spend, if, if whatever I can do with that $400, right. that's what I do. But, you know, I feel like it's a different feeling when you just kind of, like, spontaneously do things, like, you know, not necessarily like a big trip, but like let's say you go to Atlanta or something and you just want to have a good time. Like you you know you was going to Atlanta and you was gonna go to a couple things, but certain things come up, you know, the people that you would want to do something else, and it's just like, well, forget it. Let's just do this. Let's just go and spend this. Let's just go and do that. Like I'm not that type of person. I'm just like, oh no, nope, that wasn't in the plan. I don't know about that. Now how much you say yeah. it's gonna cost? So I gotta bet it another fifty dollars. I'm like, how much that is? Like yeah. I'm that type of person, and my sister, like, she kind of hates that sometimes about me, because I'll be asking for that. How much is that? Even if I have the money, it's just like, right, a, right. you know, it's just a thing. Like, I want to know, like, I'll That's be asking, how much is that? She'll be like, I used to be like that. The price. I I'm used still, to be like I, that. I still, I had to break myself out of that. Yeah. I really yeah. had to break myself out of that, yeah. because I was, it was to the point where there was times where I was, I would make a lot of money, you know, say, say for instance, I would get my income tax back or something like that. And like literally, this is really bad. I wanted to buy a twenty dollar griddle, and I sat there and stood there and stared at that griddle for fifteen <laughs> minutes. I put the griddle in my shopping cart. My mom was with me. You can ask her. I put the griddle in my shop. They took it out. I was like, nah, I don't need that right now. I don't need that. And she was like. Do you want the griddle or not? Or not. <laughs> like, if I got to pay for it, I will. Like, she was getting mad, and my mom's more frugal than me. Like, 
and she's worse than me and it was just like bro like sometimes you if there's things that you want yeah, get it like, worry about the consequences later <laughs> and it's a brittle like My it's not like you're brittle. not gonna use it or yeah I, I used to be an impulsive buyer <sighs> hence i gotta share the shit but uh um but <laughs> why, why do i see? believe that like no I no mean, seriously because I, 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 I would justify why i would need it i'd be like oh because i can ain't nowhere near like say your griddle i'd be like oh because if i get the griddle then i can do like um pancakes on one side on this side <laughs> and then i'm not even ready to do pancakes and sausage yet but i'd be like but yeah. i need it but i know? need it for the 10 years down the road yeah that I'm going and so to i'm like bro i'm almost <laughs> a hoarder a little bit i'm a clean hoarder you know like it's just they're still in everything boxes. is in its place in so that's how I come out. You see me post this shit. I'm like, I don't, I don't even use this. I don't even need it. Like, like, that. like even like that example they use, like, like I know like I can go and buy something that I need or that I want. But it's just like I put so much thought, like, do I really need that? Can I go somewhere and get it cheaper? Can I just get it now? Maybe I'll just wait until another time. But it's like you, know, you can get it now, that's... like just do it. Or like you want to go someplace or you want to go to a restaurant or you want to try yep. something, it's just like you are able to do it now. Like, why not just go ahead and do it? Like, stop trying to plan it all the time and stop trying to, and when everything lines up, then I'll do it. Like, I want to, which I've gotten a lot better with. I used to be, like, so cheap and so, like, mm-hmm. more reserved than I am now. But slowly, I'm, like, starting to come out of that. Because, you know, you just want to be able to enjoy yourself. You don't want to have to think about every move that you make. And, every and that's just it. That's there. just it. Because I'm just like this. And, and, and people say it all the time. And I never, I never, took it into consideration until I turned like 26 and they're like, you can't take it with you. If, if you, mm-hmm. if you walk outside and drop dead, like you can't take that money with you. Of course you can, you can have beneficiaries, but you still right. can't enjoy that money. I'm not saying be broke to anybody watching this. I'm not saying go out there and spend your rent money yeah. on <laughs> uh, some shoes. That's not yeah, what I'm saying. Let's be clear. <laughs> yeah. Let's be clear. I don't need nobody in my inbox. Talking about, I would listen to you. You told me to do. No, I'm just saying, if you have it, you know what I'm saying, and you know, or you know, like your pay. Say you get paid next week, and you want to make a big purchase now, and it's not going to hit you like that. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta enjoy yourself. Like you gotta live life, gotta and do. and and for sure. Um, two things. My cousins told me that when you talk about being the reserve stuff, my cousins they would they stop inviting me places because they be like, for what? You ain't gonna come. You ain't gonna do it. like. And so I was, you know, mm-hmm. and they be like, I know you got money because I done been there with you. You know, I know you got money. I'm like, honestly, I just have a fear. Of I was talking to my cousin about this the other day. He kind of almost, I love you. Well, he was like, I was like, I have a fear of being like homeless or broken stuff like that. He was like, as long as I'm living, you will never be homeless or whatever. I was like, okay, but that still don't mean I'm going to be out here frivolously, you know, spending this stuff. Because when you move in with people, like couch wise or in the other extra bedroom, like sometimes that shit ruin relationships or friendships mm-hmm. or family stuff. Like if you overstay your welcome or whatever. But um, but yeah, I, I'm learning to love myself, not so low self esteem type shit, but just like what they say, enjoy mm-hmm. the fruits of your labor. You know, yes. um, so that's how come like I'm I'm going on, I'm taking myself on a little trip. I just went to something simple stuff. It ain't got to be yeah. like overnight stuff. Like when I went um to Surfside Beach this weekend, that was for me. Cause like you said, we been sitting in the house, ain't been doing shit. I just been working, so, you know, stuff behind the scenes. And then also I know I'm about to be super busy in a couple months where I'm not even going to have time for uh to, to enjoy the sun being out or filling uh, the beach water or stuff like that. I'm not going to have time. So um I think it's important. Um, but yeah. that's where I, I'm bougie at, like business stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, Whitney, I suggest you ask, you know, so people can yeah. say. And if another thing, um, with what Daniel said, they're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to take it with you. And with COVID happening last year, like a lot of people passing last year, that's what made me be like, you know what, fuck it, I'm doing my food truck because I don't want to go to heaven and be like. Mm-hmm damn, I ain't never even, you know, I don't want that feeling. So either it's going to be successful or I'm going to feel it, but I know I'm going to be successful at it. But at least I I tried. I attempted to do it, you know. And that's all it is. You know what I'm saying? And you got to, why why work so hard to not be able to do what, like, get something you really want and that you actually work hard for? mm -hmm. Tired of killing myself for rent money and, uh, and light money. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if I have something to be able to, like, and I, like, like I said, I'm, I'm not, I ain't no, you know, bougie dude, but like, 
It's a simple fact. If I'm if if I have the money to go to a restaurant, I'm gonna get what I want. I'm not gonna get what I can afford. I mean, I'm still gonna get what I can afford. But what my mind is telling me that I can afford to keep the extra, you know, twenty dollars in my account. No, good. We'll figure that out. Like I said, I'm not saying go do that. <laughs> First of all, if you got responsibilities, <laughs> be responsible, please. God yeah. help us. Well, all right. <laughs> so let's go to the final topic. Um, so we're gonna it's a good thing, you know, Daniel mentioned that you can't take it with you. So we're gonna go into the cremation or burial. 